Hi guys, welcome to Cardano Tech. In this video, we are going to see how we can use the Blockfrost API service on Cardano to pin our files to the IPFS system. So if you guys want to know more about uh, what are IPFS hashes and how you can use IPFS hashes inside your NFT metadata on Cardano, then you can check out this particular video. And if you want to know how you can make an account on Blockfrost, then you can check out this particular video. Let's get started. Inside the free version, Blockfrost provides you with an IPFS storage of 100 MB. To get started, just go to your Blockfrost dashboard, make a new project, choose the network as the IPFS network, give your project any random name, and then save your API key. Now I'm inside my text editor and this is what my text editor looks like. In this particular directory, I only have the file which I want to upload to IPFS and I have an empty Python file. Import the requests Python library for interacting with the Blockfrost API. After that, initialize a variable with your Blockfrost API key. After that, initialize another variable with the base API endpoint. Calls that will be made to this particular API will be to a path that follows from this endpoint. Make a Python dictionary variable which will contain all the parameters that need to be passed as headers when calling the API. The project key will be passed as a key value pair in this particular dictionary. Open the file which needs to be pinned to the IPFS system in RB format which stands for raw binary. The first step in pinning a file to the IPFS is to add it to IPFS. This is done through a POST request using the Python requests library. The POST request contains two parameters, one for the header containing the API key and the other for the file which needs to be added to the file system. The request will add the file to the file system. Once the file is added, we will extract the response in JSON format and further extract the IPFS hash from the response. This hash is going to be printed to the console. You can now use this IPFS hash to add it inside your NFT metadata. This will link the uh, file which you uploaded to IPFS with your NFT. Currently, our file is only added to the IPFS file system and it is not pinned, which means that it might happen that in the future we might lose access to it as it might get removed from the IPFS file system. To ensure it is not removed, we also need to pin the file. We'll do this using another post request to the uh, Blockfrost API. The pinning is complete now. I'm just writing this part of code to verify that my file has been actually pinned to the IPFS and it is also to show you guys that it, this actually works. Otherwise, there is no need to write this part of the code. Open an empty file in Python in the raw binary format. By using the IPFS hash that we got earlier, we can fetch the contents of the file which we pinned to the IPFS server using a GET request. Once we get the response of the GET request, we are going to write all the contents of the file in this newly formed file. Now we are going to run this Python program from the terminal. You can see that the program has printed out the IPFS hash of the pinned image. Finally, you can see that I have got another file in my directory now, which is a new image. And uh, when I click on it, it is the same image which I pinned on the IPFS server. Therefore, our code is working perfectly fine. 